issuing a letter to President Mahindra Rajapaksa, the Jaffna University Science Teachers Association notes that the Prevention of Terrorism Act is inappropriate when dealing with incidents which are political in nature. The university teachers wrote the letter to the President in order to draw his attention towards the current situation in Jaffna and the incidents which have taken place in the recent past centering the Jaffna University. The Jaffna University Science Teachers Association notes that the current issues cropped up following the Army's decision to enter the students' hostel of the university on the 27th of last month. They note that continued presence of the military without tangible moves towards a political settlement has helped the mobilization of youth feelings to turn the said day into a day of defiance. The university teachers reiterate that the defeat of an insurgent force does not extinguish the feelings or causes that gave rise to it, adding that such feeling should be handled as part of the political task of reconciliation. The letter notes that the army entering the halls of the Jaffna University and separating the Sinhalese from the Tamils and going on to show hostilities towards the Tamils undermines these efforts and could have serious implications for the future. The letter also notes that several acts of harassment in the university by persons in Mufti amount to an attempt at tackling a political question through heavy-handed intimidation. The Jaffna University Science Teachers Association is of the view that the Prevention of Terrorism Act is inappropriate when dealing with questions which are political in nature. They note that seeing terrorism in political gestures and political opinion that do not take resource to violence and respond to them with an overwhelming show of force is both illogical and counterproductive. The university teachers note that an important part of consolidating peace is for the state to conduct itself in a manner that induces respect for the rule of law. They however note that acts such as dragging innocent students through police stations and police cells like in the 1970s and 1980s could only harden them and breed contempt for the law and for the officers entrusted to uphold it.